It all started with a thank you lap, but take it easy, wave to the crowd, but then I told him I don't think I could go slow. A lot of stresses because obviously I've never driven the car. The Tilt and Interiors team have been competing in Time Attack in Australia since day one. They came fourth on debut and then they won Superlap in 2009 at Oran Park Raceway. The arrival of overseas teams in 2010 saw them move back to ninth, so a new car was built for 2011 where they came fourth before getting their first podium in 2012, coming second place behind Nemo in what was still a fairly simple car. A radical exterior transformation took place for 2013, where they took their first win and started their three-peat, resetting the lap record every year before retiring from pro-class time attack racing in 2016. There's two reasons. Number one, it's, it's our program's over. It's been five years for the car. Um, we've won it three times, that's reason one. Um, reason two, it is an old build type. Um, the way we built the car with the intent of having the original car chassis, we know that, that we don't have the fastest car in the field uh, with all the new design cars right now. So it's time to step it up and build either something new or find another venture. I feel like I'm old school, a Time Attack Pro car using all standard chassis or as much as standard as possible. And that was a challenge for me, it was a personal challenge. And trying to um, look after the local suppliers by using a lot of bolt-on parts, see what we could do. And obviously we did pretty well and we kept at it. Well, the middle period um, after winning Superlap, the fir very first Superlap was rebuilding the new car and doing it right. Um, understanding what era it was because that was all new, new to us. Obviously looked at the international team, see what they had and try to utilise that, that knowledge. And, and after that we realised that we need to to, to design our own aero to, to our new car. I think when Garth Walden came over and then offered to drive the car, um, he actually brought along with all his engineers when he was doing V8 supercars and, and other motorsport, um, professional motorsports he was involved with. Um, so Louis came over and, and other, the engine builder, the um, uh, Abe and um, Trent, they all worked together for many years. So it was, it was, it was an easy transition um, adopting a, a driver and his old team and it seemed to work. The hardest thing to keep motivated in the team was when something failed, when something broke. And at times we blamed each other or pointed fingers at either a, a, a supplier or, or our own team that we didn't manage that part that broke. Um, that, to keep the motivation in the team, we control that, then the motivation was always high. Because I think I was a pretty high, highly motivated team owner, so. Initially, it was a good car to get involved with because they used to use our oil and pay for it. And Costa's probably already told you that uh, he didn't want anything for free. They were prepared to pay for stuff, but uh, back from the Sierra Sierra days, we didn't have a pro-class car in 2012, and that's when the relationship started. Uh, and then we built it from there, and we, we really got invested in the car, in the technical side of it, because it's a test lab. That's what it's been. And it's become iconic worldwide for our brand, and uh, been successful all around. Pretty proud, and I'd be lying if I didn't say pretty emotional. Uh, to do what we've done has just been incredible. It's so good to see everyone so happy to see this car here. I think it is, without doubt, the most photographed car here for the weekend. And um, look, it's good to sit back. We've got three in the bag. No one's ever done that. To do that again is going to be a big call for any team. Um, but it's, you know, it might raise the bar height around here. Um, the reason why the car's here on the promotional lap today, um, I was out with Ian Baker on dinner. And we thought it would have been a good idea just to um, showcase the car and maybe just do a, 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 a thank you lap. So the promotional lap would be pretty much me driving it as hard as I could. I've never done any professional racing. To drive a Radical, which is paddle shifted, full aero, purpose-built race car. And he was in the passenger seat and I just listened to whatever he said. I did a pretty good time and I bought the car the next day. And um, I've done one season in the Radical Australia Cup out of the last five years. Um, in the farewell lap today, the car setup is on low boost on 28 pounds. On race day, we run at about 48. So it's got minimal power. We're running last year's tires that we ran. Hopefully I can do a decent number in the high 20s.
emotions coming back into pit lane. I was actually really pleased that I didn't break it. Coming out of the car, I was actually relieved. I was relieved that the car was actually really easy to drive. And um, when I looked at the time, I did an okay time too, so. Everything goes well this weekend. I'm pretty confident I'll be entering the Pro-Am race for next year in this car, in my car. How, how does it feel driving next year? It'll, it'll make me feel proud to be an owner and obviously I'm proud of my own driving abilities to handle uh, such a car. Mate, fantastic. Um, absolutely proud of him. You know, it's been five years in the making to try and get him in this car. Never want to do it more because of obviously commitments from us and trying to win the three titles, so finally to get him in the car. It's a um, proud moment for myself, proud moment for him. I think I lost my drive, I think I'm out now. I think you'll see him back in the seat. So, but it's good, it's nice. It's nice to have really experience what all this hype's about. So. With a three-peat under their belt and their eye on Pro-Am glory, the Tilton Interiors team have their eye on a new prize. To conquer the mountain and reset the tin top record and maybe a few others around Australia's most iconic racetrack, Mount Panorama, in late November. Stay tuned, as this is going to be big.